Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Drew Dinkmeyer of DailyRotor.com, who's here to break down tonight's NBA slate. What's happening, Drew? Uh, not much. You know, no Super Bowl hangover here. We got 10 games on the NBA slate to look forward to, and hopefully have, help people set those FanDuel lineups. That's right, it's a full slate of games tonight, so let's break it down. We begin with your top star on the board, it's your guy Nikola Vucevic, who is priced under $9,000 tonight, making him an excellent play. Yeah, it's an interesting slate for the stars. There's no James Harden, no Giannis Antetokounmpo, no LeBron James or Anthony Davis. So a lot of the stars are kind of these upper mid-tier price plays. And at the center spot, I really like Nikola Vucevic tonight. Charlotte ranks 29th in defensive efficiency against the opposing center position. And Vucevic has seen his rates really rise, especially the rebounding rate in the absence of Jonathan Isaac, who's been out for a few weeks now. So it looks like a, a great spot for Vucevic. It's a really good price tag as well. So while he's a star, he's also quite a good value for us. And he's someone you should look to in your lineups at the center spot. Good value, good matchup, good spot for Vooch. You have to love him here at center under nine grand. Vooch belongs in your center spot on FanDuel tonight. Coming up next for us, we get to De'Aaron Fox, someone you've been in on recently, Drew. It's been up and down. Why do you think tonight's one of those up nights? Yeah, I think this is a good matchup for him. Minnesota is a team that ranks, you know, bottom 10 in defensive efficiency against opposing point guards. He's at home, so he gets that scorekeeper boost with the assist rate, which is vital to all the point guards. We usually like to play point guards at home in general. Pretty high total game, competitive game environment expected here, and good price tag in the low 8,000s. Uh, point guard is a spot that's lacking some of the high-end options with no Russell Westbrook on this slate, Kyrie Irving out tonight, and we think uh, De'Aaron Fox can kind of fill that mold in that low 8,000s price range. Low 8,000s for De'Aaron Fox works here for us. Get Fox in there for the Kings and in your FanDuel lineups tonight. Our final star, well, he's especially a star when Kyrie Irving doesn't play. That's Spencer Dinwiddie. It's as simple as that. No-brainer. Spencer Dinwiddie's got to be in there, right, Drew? Yeah, whenever Kyrie Irving sat this year, we've seen Spencer Dinwiddie really dominate. His usage rate is uh, trended up near 32 33%. The assist rate is trended up near 39 40%, basically assuming the Kyrie Irving role in that Brooklyn offense. Favorable matchup tonight against Phoenix at home. Good game environment, total in the 220s. And the price tag still kind of in the mid-7,000s here. I'm just not adjusted for life without Kyrie. So while he's a star, he's not really priced like a star, and he's one of the staple plays for us on this slate. A star without being priced like a star. What else could you ask for? Great spot here for Spencer Dinwiddie. Let's move on to some of the value plays of the night, Drew, and that brings us to Bruce Brown, the Detroit Pistons player. Should get a lot of minutes tonight. Uh, some of these other players in Detroit up in the air. Bruce Brown could be in a good spot. Yeah, you look at Detroit and kind of how they've managed the point guard situation all season long. They've been cautious with Derrick Rose on back-to-backs. Reggie Jackson is just kind of working his way back. They played an overtime game last night, so we think, or yesterday afternoon, so we think one of those two players is likely to sit, which would open up a lot of minutes for Bruce Brown, who's been very effective when he's been given kind of that point guard role. He's been very effective off the bench, even with Reggie Jackson and Derrick Rose back. Price in the low 4,000s, I think he's one of the better values on the slate. You just need to confirm that one of those two guys, Reggie Jackson or Derrick Rose, sits tonight. If that's the case it's all systems go for bruce brown remember lineup slot at 7 p.m eastern daily roto's got you covered with all of the latest lineup alerts so make sure somebody's out for detroit before you get bruce brown in there but if they are as we expect they will be bruce brown is a fantastic cheap play up next for us we stay in brooklyn going back there rather and that's karis lavert also no Kyrie. lavert's gonna step up yeah, we've seen Lavert. you know, he's been such a good permanent producer throughout his fantasy career, but the fantasy value has been neutered a little bit this season with Kyrie Irving around. It's kind of pushed him to the third ball handler role. That shouldn't be the case tonight with Kyrie Irving out. We'll see Spencer Dinwiddie in that starting lineup dominate the usage, and we think we'll see Karis Lavert in that second unit dominating the usage with a little bit more minutes upside now. Again, that price tag in the low 4,000s is just too cheap. Friendly home matchup against Phoenix. Good game environment on the whole. We, bo we like both Spencer Dinwiddie and Karis Lavert tonight. Well, Dinwiddie and Lavert should see a lot of action tonight and should see higher usage, of course, without Kyrie. Both deserve to be in your lineups tonight, so get Karis Lavert in there. Play with him and Dinwiddie. They don't really cost that much, so make sure you play them tonight on FanDuel. One final player to get to, and that's going back to Dwayne Dedman once again. <laughs> now, we, we've done this Dedman thing. It's worked out that it doesn't, and you got to pick the right night to play him. Why is tonight that night? Well, hopefully tonight is that night because Sacramento is going to need some size. When you're going up against Carl Anthony Towns in Minnesota, you can't play those kind of small ball lineups with the elites at the center spot. So we think Deadman's minutes are a little bit more secure tonight as long as he can stay out of foul trouble. And, you know, Minnesota historically has been a team that struggled against opposing centers. So we think there's reasons for Deadman to be on the floor. There's reasons for Deadman to produce uh, successfully. And hopefully tonight he's not dead man walking. Dead men walking. I love it, Drew. That is, that is as Daily Roto as it gets right there. Dead <laughs> men walking. 
Hopefully not. Hopefully he's alive tonight for your fantasy teams and for the Sacramento Kings. Drew Digmeyer, DailyRoto.com. We appreciate the time and the terrible jokes. <laughs> Thanks. I'm always here for the terrible jokes and, uh, and happy to give my time. Uh, enjoy the games tonight, Greg. Thank you very, very much, Drew. I'll be here all week as well. Tomorrow, I'll be joined by Davis Maddock and Jim Sonis. Alpha's back, baby. We'll break it down tomorrow right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.